All right, girlfriends, we're talking about the powders at the drugstore that don't make us look older. That is a subject that is you either love powder or you hate it. And there's nowhere in between for most people. They either use it or they don't. I recognize that it's sometimes so hard to find a really good powder that works really good at the drugstore or anywhere else for that matter. But I have rounded up six of my favorites and I'll show you why each of them are. I also, before we get started, want to show you my outfit. I always do that each time because I get asked about everything I have on. No matter what, I will make sure that I put the makeup, the clothing, the nails, the jewelry, everything down below in the description box for you so that you don't have to wonder and you don't have to ask. And I always get asked about my little setup right here. So I'm gonna make sure in the videos from now on that I put in all the links for all of these products that are behind me. Yes, you can buy the drawers, the little acrylic and everything else. So we'll make sure that we do that as well. Besides that, I wanna make sure that if you're new here, I say welcome to you and say thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me, everyone. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because it does help me out so very much And I would really really appreciate that. Okay, let's get into these powders because I'm super excited To share with you what I feel like on my 56 year old skin works Let's start out with talking about the kind of powder. I prefer I prefer a pressed powder there seems to be something between a loose powder and a pressed powder that makes a huge difference in my mature skin. A pressed powder has to have some agent in it that is binding, and that agent has to be something that is a little bit more emollient. So when you have a loose powder, it can be airy, it can be fluffy, and it can be very drying. So when I choose powders, it's almost 99% of the time going to be a pressed powder. There are a couple of exceptions, like the one I showed you, in my recent dupes video, but for this video, we're talking all about the powders that are pressed. Let's talk about three of them that I believe are very spot on dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. And it's funny because as I'm going through this whole thing right here, I do feel like a lot of these are dupes for a lot of powders, which is interesting. So we're gonna talk first about the Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And I believe I have mine in porcelain. And even though I do have it in porcelain, it still isn't one that makes me feel like it's too light. This is a powder that you stick your finger in. It feels creamy. It feels like the Charlotte Tilbury one. When you put your finger into the Charlotte Tilbury, you do feel like you have gotten a very creamy powder and that's how the flower beauty one is the packaging on it is really nice it does have a mirror underneath there with a little puff i have a tendency to use the mirror but i don't necessarily use those puffs although they're nice in a pinch this powder is easy to use it's easy to use underneath your eyes i do have a tendency to want to use it on the rest of my face a little bit more than under my eyes but it's a pretty powder that i definitely believe Believe belongs with every mature woman that is looking for one that is very much like Charlotte Tilbury. The second one that I feel like is very much like Charlotte Tilbury is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. I have mine in Light 6. And again, same thing. I feel like when you stick your finger in there, you're feeling that creaminess. You're feeling the same property as the Charlotte Tilbury. This one might even be a little bit more creamy than the Flower Beauty. So if you are a little bit more oily, the Flower Beauty might work a little bit more for you. But this one, I can use underneath my eyes. I don't feel like it's drying me out. It's just so beautiful and rich and creamy and doesn't make me look like I'm drying out and really helps keep at bay all of the breakthrough that I get in the summertime around my nose and around my chin, which I'm always checking anyway. So really love that one. Also the last one, and this probably is the closest match for the Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the least expensive one out of these three. Again, this is LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. All of these powders I've talked bef about before, so they are nothing new to you. I hope that you realize that when I give these kinds of suggestions, lots of times I won't even look at something new unless it's really something that has very much impressed me. So again, we have a little mirror underneath there and a powder puff underneath there, but this one is 
uber creamy. This one is the one that if you are dry, you probably want to grab this one. And I believe this one is in fair. I know that they have a couple of different colors, maybe fair, medium, and deep. The first time that I introduced this to you guys, I actually did put it in a video as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Creamy, easy to use, beautiful under your eyes if you're a mature woman. Make sure that you go very light-handed. That would be my suggestion on any powder really but as the powder gets a little bit thicker a little bit more creamy then you're going to want to go a little bit lighter this powder itself i really feel like could almost be used for a foundation it is that good and it's that much coverage let me just show you right here where i have a little bit of discoloration if i put that right there then it's going to look more perfected. It's going to look like a powder foundation a little bit. So beautiful. I really highly suggest for anybody that has very dry skin that they try that one out. All right, this one right here from Physicians Formula. This is called the Rose All Day Set and Glow. This is a two-in-one product that you normally wouldn't think of this being a powder in a powder video. First of all, you do have the glow product right here, which you can use as a highlighter. Makeup by Mario has this really cool balm that he uses for the high points. And I'll just show you what it does. Right there, you can kind of see, see how that just lit that up as a balm. So that's really beautiful. And I think that in any case, that's a nice addition to it. But for me, it's the powder underneath. Once again, let's talk about the packaging. We have a mirror. And then down here is a little brush that I've never even touched. But I do like that about it. What is beautiful about this is I feel like this one could very easily pass for the Givenchy Prism Libre powder that's in the little four squares. That's an extremely, extremely expensive powder. And I don't feel like anybody needs to rush out and get that. But this powder right here has that super lit within look. It reminds me of the Pat McGrath under eye powder with being less drying. It just, it's a beautiful powder. They have a few different colors of it. I really do love it. Let me just show you. It's definitely pink powder. So you can use this as a highlighter. And let me just show you that when you use it underneath your eye, I'm trying to be very careful because I have a lot of powder on already. But when you use it underneath your eye, you can see that it does a little bit of extra lighting. You can use this as a highlighter instead of using like a glow or a beaming highlighter if you want to. This is a beautiful product and I like that it does come with the extra little added benefit of having that little glow balm in there, but it's one that I've been talking about for a long time. Haven't had it in a video for a while, but I have been talking about it for a long time and it's a really good one. This one was discovered last year and this one is impressive because this is a wet and wild powder. It is very, very affordable, very inexpensive. This is the five in one essence primer and finish powder. So you use this as your base, as your essence, and then as your powder. I don't know if I would be using it as an essence, but it does have some fairly good ingredients in there. So this is a perfect powder. And by the way, I just stuck my finger in there and that is so smooth. Oh my word. That is the smoothest powder. It is so lovely. When you use this, you're going to be impressed at how soft it is. It is just so soft. So I'll tell you what I do. Um, three or four years ago, I did a video where I tested out Wayne's Goss theory of putting powder underneath your foundation before you started. This powder works fabulous for that. And the reason is, is because if you do have so much discoloration, you have so much texture, you have all the things that just make you hate foundation. You put this powder underneath your foundation and you really buff it into your pores. I mean, I'm not talking just a little dusting of it. I'm talking about buffing it into your pores with a small amount of product. Don't get me wrong. We're not using a ton of product. We're using a small amount of product, but we're buffing it into the pores and we're buffing it all over. That creates the most beautiful start to being able to put your foundation on because when you put your foundation on on top of that, you've already got a little bit of coverage and then you go in and you put on that foundation and your foundation looks flawless. And I'm telling you that foundation is going to stay on all day. So I use that technique when I have somewhere to be that I'm going to be needing all day long makeup. If I'm going to a wedding or I'm going to an event where I don't want my makeup to fade away or I want it to look perfected all day. That's the technique I use. And this is beautiful. 
for that. Now, don't get me wrong. You can use this underneath your eyes because super silk. I'm talking silk, silk, silk. And you can also use it to set your makeup, but for using it underneath, it is, it's really beautiful, really perfection on that one. Lastly is the one that I just came across that I did put in my dupes video recently. And that is one that apparently isn't new, but Ulta fooled me into thinking it's new. It's from L'Oreal. It's the True Match. And this is the Super Blendable Press Powder. I have mine in C3. I wish that I had mine in like N3, which is a little bit deeper of a color, but still this works so good. And I just put this in a dupe for the Dior Backstage Powder. Didn't know that the Dior had been discontinued, which makes me truly want to weep because that powder is a no powder powder. Think the lightest of the light. Think a very sheer veil. Think the powder that can set without looking like powder. It is a powder that a mature skin woman really should have but they've discontinued it so when i put this in there i'm telling you that you're getting one that is really darn close because i am hardly picking up any powder when my finger goes across there which is unheard of for powder i mean you can go into the wet and wild one let me just show you so i'm gonna just do the same amount of pressure same amount of powder across my finger that's the wet and wild and then i've got the one from l'oreal we're talking hardly anything whereas the wet and wild is a little bit more that we've picked up which makes sense because they are different powders but this one if you're somebody that has been looking and looking for a super light powder that you can put up underneath your eyes, I think that you're going to love this. It's just that pretty. It's just that gorgeous. I did just do this whole face right before I did this video. So that video should be up, but I did set up underneath my eyes. Just keep in mind that you want to use a puff for your powders. And I suggest this for just about any of those, except for maybe the wet and wild. Go ahead and use this with a buffing brush to put that on to really buff it into your skin before you go in with foundation. But these puffs are great for being able to push the powder in. And even though you're not wanting to use a lot of powder, like with a powder that is this airy, you definitely still want to push it in. That's what's going to make those pores go away. It's going to make your canvas look absolutely perfected. That's number six. And I really went through these quickly, but I believe in all of these powders and I really trust all of them. And I know that any one of these that you pick out, you're going to love as a mature woman because I have had them for most of them for years, except for maybe a couple and really have loved each of them so very much. So thank you for being with me today. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button on your way out of here. Oh, by the way, do you have a powder that you'd like to tell me about down in the comment section? I always love to hear from you. Thanks again. Love you much. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, my friends.